Well, I came to the Lord, <laughs> and thus it all began. I came to the Lord a very dirty and defiled man, as you can appreciate. I'd spent years cultivating my sexuality. This included pornography, this included misbehavior and promiscuity, and when I came to the Lord, like when you come to the Lord, you learn very quickly, maybe in about 10 minutes in fact, that while the blood of Jesus may wash away your guilt, it does not wash away memory, history, or human vulnerability. Those are the things you've got to learn to reckon with. Well, at this point, I had been walking with the Lord for a couple of years. And I was beginning to get just a little demoralized by the ongoing tennis match inside my brain where I kept trying to stay on top of the ball ever being fired from up within me. The memories, the history, the fantasy, and the desire. It didn't just go away for my convenience because I was born again. I find God doesn't take that away. You have to learn to bow down and obey and deal with it. it takes away guilt, not my humanity. So I was struggling, and I was getting a little weary, and I was expecting things to be easier and better and beyond all of this now. After all, I was walking with God for two years. It should all be wrapped up by now. And I was getting discouraged, and so I began to cry out to God. And I tell people, when you don't know what else to do, start whining. Crying babies get attention. You know that. <laughs> so I began to cry out to God, and the Lord began to respond to me. And I, I, I really must admit, it's very daring to suggest in the modern world we live in that God would actually talk to you. I mean, you know, you talk to God, people call it prayer. God talks to you, some will call it schizophrenia. But, <laughs> but believing, believing that God does communicate with us, the Lord began to speak to me. And he began to share with me some concepts. So uh, taking the gamble to believe that I've heard God, I will tell you what I believe that he said to me. Sigh, when you struggle with your filthy, nasty, dirty thoughts that you love and you hate, you make a couple of really big mistakes. I do, God. Yes, I, you do. Mistake number one is you try to shove the thoughts down, keep them at bay, repress them, and prove to me you're being a good boy. Well, yes, God, isn't that what you're supposed to do? But sigh, it doesn't really work, doesn't really last very long now, does it? Which is, of course, the realization that God is ever watching what we do. What's that Oswald Chambers quoted? is a piercing thing to realize the gutters God will crawl through with you. And so, sigh in a moment of weakness, in a moment of indulgence, in a, in a moment when you just get tired of fighting, finally those images begin to surface, those memories, those desires begin to bubble forth with power, and then you make your second mistake. You indulge them. And then you get defiled by them. You know, kind of like this. No, Lord, no, I can't look. I shouldn't look. No, Lord, I shouldn't look. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> And then you get all defiled by it, and then you have to crawl your way back to me. And he did say, always come back to me. But, Sai, there is a better way. He said, you know, Sai, why don't you do with your filthy, nasty, dirty thoughts that you love and you hate the one thing you've never dared do before with them? And I said, what is that? He said, why don't you just admit them and submit them to me like this? Look at what I'm thinking, God. I love it and I want it but I love you and want you to help me. Lord, this thing calls my name and wants to be my master, but you call my name and want to be my master. Help me. Lord, those things call for my allegiance and wish me to bow down to them, but you ask for my allegiance and want me to bow down to you. Help me. I don't know a more honest way to pray, quite frankly. Don't get into the pretentious trap of, I'm a Christian now, I don't have those thoughts. It's not... Integrity doesn't mean you never have dirty thoughts. It's when you have dirty thoughts, what you do with them.